Hello, my friends of Atari Labs. My name is Jorge Montoya. Please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, what we are going to do is an exercise that deals with the kinetic dissolution of calcite in Frixi. Okay, so the steps are the following. Okay, first we are going to create the Frixi in file. Then we are going to simulate Frixi in Aquifer App. And then from the results in Aquifer App, we are going to create some graphics of the cal, uh, calcium concentration with time and as well the pH with time. Okay, so let's start. So you are going to find, um, okay, inside your documents, you are going to download, okay, from the link in this video, you are going to download this folder, okay, because uh, we do that because we are going to run a Anaconda. Okay, and here you are going to create a new file, a new text file that will that will be called kinetic dissolution dot in has to be dot in otherwise aquifer app won't recognize. It. Okay, great. So we edit that and then we start. Okay, so the title and it has in it needs to have a title. Okay, so say kinetic dissolution of calcite okay great so solution one uh, will have a temperature of 10 degrees then we'll have a pH of 6 and carbon of 1 mole Okay, uh, and at the beginning there is no calcium in the system. Okay, so it will be an equilibrium phases one of CO2 G. Okay, so it will be subsaturated with respect at equilibrium, subsaturated with respect of CO2. Okay, then we define the kinetics, kinetics of the, uh, what, I don't know if they call it a phase, a master, so, a solution, a species, or a species, okay, so that is going to be called calcit. Calcit 2, okay. Well, this is the name of the species, okay? And the formula is CaCO3, okay? Great. And the initial molality of that is 1. And it has a steps of, okay, it will run in 30,000 uh, seconds in 20 steps. Okay, great. So, and then we find the rates, okay? The rates for this solution master species, like egg solution species. Okay, it has a name, but, okay. So for calci 2, calci 2, we are going to give some parameters. So we need to start, and then from here is basic. I mean, the rate, is equal to 10 elevated to the minus 6.91 minus 10 elevated to the minus 1.52 times dot CA Elevated to the square. So this will be the rate. This is the rate. Okay, that is related to the concentration of calcite. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as long as there is more concentration of calcite, the I think that there will be less, uh, the rate will be lower. Okay, I think so. 
save one times rate times time and then here end okay and now we end our solution and then we save it okay great then we save Great, so now what you have to do is that you have to go to aquifer.hatarilabs.com Yeah, sign in. Okay, you have to sign with your okay, so with your account. Okay. And then we create a new project, just call it D. Okay, then we go to Frixi. Then we select the input file, which is the input file is the one that is here. Kinetic dissolution one, upload. Okay, so, and then we go to setup. We are going to use the Frixi database. Then we run it. And, okay, if you don't have any error, so nothing will, I mean, you are not going to see something here. Okay, and then we compile that. Okay, so we can see the raw output. We can see the initial solution. Let's go to the batch reaction solution description. Okay, at the beginning, no, solution composition. At the beginning, there was no calcium, okay? So in the first reaction, there is this amount of calcium, okay? But in the reaction number 20, we have this amount of calcium, okay? And for the solution composition, solution description, since we are going to add calcite, the pH will increase. So let's see. So here we have six at the beginning. And then at the end, the pH has increased to 6.8. But we are going to create some graphics about that because actually there is no much purpose in uh, there is no much purpose in uh, having these called values. So we go to download, and then we are going to download the solution composition and the solution description. Okay. So here in the solution composition, okay, we copy both, control X, for example, and then we paste it here on the folder, okay, and then we open Anaconda Prom. Anaconda Prom, CD documents, CD X, uh, what is this? simple okay and then we type jupiter lab then we type jupiter lab okay so here you have okay so you open this notebook that will look for these two files. Okay, kernel, restart kernel and clear our outputs. Okay, so we run pandas, numpy. Okay, we open the solution composition. We have the head. We have a multi-index here. And then we need the multi-index to create some slices. Okay, I think that it will be more handy to do it in this way. Okay, so we filter the the ones that has calcium, okay, that all are only the batch ones, okay, and then we also take the uh, solution description, and then we filter just the pH values, okay, just the pH values, okay, we define a time list that goes from the 0 to 30,000, okay, and these are 21 divisions, and them, okay, for the time list, since there is for the calcium, since there is only calcium in the reactions, there will be 20 divisions. So we start from the after the first one. Okay. So this is the calcium concentration with time. Okay. And then as we see in the rate, okay, 
when the calcium concentration increases, the rate it will decrease. Okay. And we can also plot the pH. This is the pH. Okay, great. Um, uh, this is inspired in the exercise in the example 5.9 of the Apelo and Postma book on the se of the second edition. And uh, well, the results are similar, and there is more explanation about the keywords and so on in the in the book. Okay, or there is another version of the explanation. Uh, well, but this is the tutorial and I think that it was great because we did it I mean with few pain and with excellent graphics okay just to remember that we are Hattery Labs and then we have a series of courses and diplomas okay and that's also webinars that you can take okay those are applied those comes with input files they do all of them comes with um, with support as well okay so you can take them and also to tell you that uh, by taking our courses you are also supporting our research okay so thank you for supporting us and hope to see you in another tutorial